Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the Earthsburg Gymnasium at the Lou Higgins Center on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University, where the Baldwin Wallace women's volleyball team is hosting its second match of the day. This time, it'll be against the Denison Big Red in non conference action. Baldwin Wallace, four set winners over Wilmington to improve to 12 and 10 on the campaign and two and three in Ohio Athletic Conference. They are now five and one inside Hersprung Gymnasium. Denison comes in with a nine and nine overall record. They're three and oh in North Coast Athletic Conference play, but just two and five away from home. Matt Florjancic on the call with Michael Beard for this non-conference contest. Yeah, Michael, it'll be interesting to see how the Yellow Jackets handle the heavier than normal workload with the back-to-back -back games with just 80 minutes in between the end of one and the start of the second. Yeah, it'll certainly be a little bit interesting. Uh, I think the, the nice thing about something like this here where you go conference, non-conference, is it gives you a little bit more freedom to kind of mix with your lineups, especially in the second game. You know, obviously you're to the point of the year where conference games are going to take precedent over anything else that you're playing. So I would say look for a potential maybe different starting lineup that maybe we're used to seeing out of BW here, just trying to get people a little bit more experience. And some of the players that have been uh, struggling with some injuries, maybe keeping them on the bench to keep them healthy for the rest of the conference play after this weekend. Taking a look at the starting lineup first for the Big Red, the defensive specialist is a 5'5 sophomore out of Pittsburgh, New York. Number one, Ryan Kotalik. And outside hitter, a 5'10 sophomore out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Number three, Isla Dunbar. At setter, a 5'8 junior from Louisville, Kentucky. Number five, Alice Kempf. At middle hitter, a 5'11 junior from Dublin Kaufman High School. Number seven, Katie McCaffrey. The defensive specialist is a 5'5 junior from Independence, Ohio, Sadie Habib. At right side, a 6'2 sophomore from Indianapolis, Indiana. Number 18, Maeve Perry. And middle hitter is a six-foot senior from St. Charles, Illinois. Number 19, Kaylee Johns. Carter Kessel is in his eighth season at the helm of the Denison Big Red program. He is assisted by Jenna Correo and Lindsey Miracle. Starting it off for the Baldwin Walsh Yellow Jackets. At libero is a 5'2 uh, senior from Avon at St. Joseph Academy. Number one, Warren Gardner. At center, a 5'7" junior from Deland, Florida, number six, Katarina Blazetic. An outside hitter, a 5'11 junior from Naperville, Illinois, number seven, Gabby Schleck. An outside hitter, a 5'9 senior from Sullivan, Black River High School, number eight, Sydney Simonson. And outside hitter, a 5'11 freshman from Newark, number nine, Bella Martinez. An outside hitter, a 5'8 senior from Aurora, Illinois, number 21, Sam Ruetta. And the middle hitter is a six foot freshman from Wabash, Indiana, number 26, Josie Lynn. BW is coached by Kate Latkovic in her first season with the program. She's assisted by Anthony Winter and T.R. Harker, and the graduate assistant is Sophie Chacon. BW will again be in their home whites with Baldwin Wallace written in brown, trimmed in gold on the front of the jersey and the BW Athletics logo on the back name plate. The numbers are in gold, trimmed in brown, and the Yellow Jackets have brown and gold striping along the sleeves of the jersey. Denison in red jerseys with the Denison logo on the front of the uniform in red and white with black trim. The numbers are white with black trim and Denison written under the back jersey numbers. The libero for the Yellow Jackets, Lauren Gardner will be in brown with gold and white trim. Jackets written across the front of her jersey in white and the numbers trimmed in gold and in white. The libero for Denison will be in white with red numerals trimmed in black and a red writing underneath the jersey. Denison will serve it up to start this match. It'll be Kotalik who will do the honors. It's played by Gardner. Up to Blazetic, over to Simonson, and she crushes it out of bounds for the Denison point. Kotalik will stay on serve. It's received by Schlecht. 
over to Ruetta. Now to Bella Martinez, and she mishit it. Looked like the timing of her jump was thrown off, and she hit it on her descent into the net for a Denison point. Talic sends another over. It's received by Gardner. Up to Blazetic. Over to Simonson. Through a block. It's out of bounds. Off a of Denison point for the Yellow Jackets. Katarina Blazetic will drop back to serve for BW. She fires it over the net. And it will be sent off the top of the net and out of bounds by Isla Dunbar. We're even at two here in this first set. This time, Bozetic serve gets over and received in the back end. Schlecht keep, kept it alive, and then on a free ball, the Yellow Jacket's gonna get away with a point as Dennison was caught out of alignment. They had everything going for them on that point. The Yellow Jackets were way out of system, had to hustle after the ball, but the Yellow Jackets found a gap. Yeah, I don't even know what to say for that one. Simonson hit a, a downward down ball, or a free ball. Yeah, and it worked out to the Yellow Jackets advantage, but not on that next point as Dennison responds and they even things at three. And now their libero, Sadie Habib, is from right up the road in Independence, Ohio, about a half hour away from BW's campus. Goes on serve. It's received by Ruetta. Up to Blazetic, over to Martinez, into a block. And Blazetic got it twice. And that's a point for the Big Red. I like her trying to play that off there. You know, usually if somebody plays it twice, you can almost fool the refs into thinking that somebody else touched it before you did. Not the case there. The officials at the net called it, and Habib will stay on serve. Schlecht with a first hit that was tight to the net. Blazetic played it well. The Yellow Jackets would have gotten a point on it, but there was an infraction called for, and Dennison now takes a two-point lead at 5-3 here in the first set. Habib crushes it, it's received by Gardner. Up to Blazetic, over to Ruetta, and it's down for the kill. Habib tried to get a couple uh, cracks at it, but on the dive, didn't get under it quite enough to elevate it, and it's down for the kill. Jamie Snell and Lila Nash come on. Snell will go on serve, and Nash, the 5'9 outside hitter, first year player from Berkey and Evergreen High School, comes on to help up front. Snell serve low to the ground. Dennison with a tip will keep it alive and send it over. And on a free ball, Nash will play it up. Now it's set up for an outside hit from number 18, Maeve Perry, and she sends it long and out of bounds. It's a point for the Yellow Jackets, and we're back to even. Snell hits it over. It's received and sent tight to the net. And once again, Dennison had a clean court to shoot for in the back. But this time, Kaylee Johns sends it a little bit too long out of bounds. Tough swing there from the middle. I mean, yes, she had a free net, but that's also that set is coming fast from 13 feet off the net from the center. That's a tough one to put in the court. Well, good look this time for Dennison as Dunbar winds, fires, and hits it off of a block out of bounds for a big red point. And we're even at six here in the first set. That's a little bit better of a look than what you were talking about, Michael. Absolutely, yeah, it's just difficult with that angle, the ball coming that fast at you to be able to get on top of it and keep it in the court. Whitley Metz comes in to serve. The Yellow Jackets play it over, and then it's promptly hit out of bounds by Isla Dunbar to give the Yellow Jackets a 7-6 advantage here in this first set with Lauren Gardner going on serve. And after a nine point serving run that she had in that 
first set of the first match. Gardner starts off with an ace here in this first set to give the Yellow Jackets a two-point advantage. And she'll look to continue her successful ways serving it up. This is played right back over the net and crushed down for a Yellow Jacket point. Josie Lynn on the kill. Wouldn't be surprised to see Gardner try to drop one short uh, right by the stack of three players over there here. She puts it a little bit longer into the back row, but again, tight to the net. It's tipped over on the second hit. Rosetic with a set. Ruetta with a absolutely crushing hit that somehow dug out. And now the Yellow Jackets will bat it towards the net and it'll be punched over by Josie Lynn. Dennison with a chance to reset. And it's over on two deflections. Excuse me, swings by the Yellow Jackets before Dennison can put it away. How the Yellow Jackets even kept that point alive is incredible as Snell deflected it to Gardner who then self-defense deflected it to Nash who then punched it over. Goodness, that was a nice play. And I like the refs letting him play on there. The Dennison coach was complaining for a lift on that play, but he could also let one go earlier that could have been called a lift on Dennison as well. The Blazetic sets it to Nash. She punches it over. It's played up and on a free ball by Dennison. Lozetic with another set, this to Lynn. She tips it over and it's gonna be hit out of bounds by the big red. It took a funny carom off the first hit and then out of self-defense, Claire Hamilton tried to keep it alive and it took a hard bank left off of her hit and no player could get to it for a third attempt. Sam Ruetta on serve and she sends it out just a little bit too long. So Dennison will get it on the service error. And it will be dropped back to number 19, Kaylee Johns, who will serve. On the season, Johns with 14 service aces. She's one of six Denison Big Red players with double-digit aces this year. Ruetta on the reception to Blazetic. It's hit over by Nash. Now set to the outside by Denison. It'll be hit off a block and out of bounds by Claire Hamilton for the Big Red point. And now the Denison Big Red are just one point away from tying things up here in the first set. Gardner on the serve, up to Blazetic, over to Nash. It's blocked back down and handled by the Yellow Jackets. Nash again, this time puts it down for the Yellow Jacket point. Michael, when you get two opportunities in quick succession with the first one being blocked back at you, do you try to make a quick adjustment on the fly? Yeah, that's always the nicest thing about getting the repeat set right away is, you know, you realize whatever didn't work the first time and you're able to instantly adjust, whether it was uh, a soft block, whether it was a good move by the other side, hitting somewhere different. It's always nice to be able to instantly make up for a mistake before that. The Big Red send it back over on a free ball. Josie Lynn right down the near side line for herself. Putting it down for the Yellow Jacket kill, and that'll allow Lila Nash to stay on serve for BW. Nash hits it into the net for a big red point, and they will go on serve. Mets will sub out, and coming in is Maeve Perry. Dropping back to serve as Alice Kemp, the junior out of Louisville, Kentucky, and Sacred Heart Academy. Kemp with 14 service aces. Ruetta's serve receive goes over the net, and then a couple of players, one from each side, meet at the net, and the Yellow Jackets will be ruled to have interfered with Dennison getting the ball, and so it's a Dennison point. Kemp plays it over, it's received by Schleck. Quick set for Josie Lynn, and she absolutely crushes it for the Yellow Jacket kill. Gardner will sub out, Sidney Simonson will come in. Josie Lynn will go on serve, jumping right-hander. 
sink a little bit too long point for the Big Red. And Kotalik will come back in. She'll spell Claire Hamilton. And Kotalik will go on serve. hit into the net for a service error point for the Yellow Jackets and it'll be Katarina Blazetic who will go back on serve for BW. Opportunity to take advantage of a misplay by Dennison here for the Yellow Jackets. We'll see what they can do. Blazetic plays it over. It's hit over then Blazetic on the dive keeps it alive. Gardner to Ruetta over a block. It's played tight to the net and it'll be hit down for the Yellow Jacket point by Bella Martinez. And more cartwheels to come from the Yellow Jackets. It's a celebration that was noticed in that first match of the day, a win over Wilmington in conference play, and the Yellow Jackets keeping things going here. And more to celebrate on the Yellow Jackets side of the ledger because Katarina Blazetic just got a service ace and forced Dennison into a timeout. While we have this break in the action, I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match is being brought to you by University Hospitals, Trasinski Sports Medicine Institute, proud official health care provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also brought to you by City Barbecue, celebrating 25 years of competition quality barbecue. The Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893. Chuck Rotuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual, Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. And Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, a great place before or after any Yellow Jacket event. You're enjoying today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match on BWYellowJackets.com. Out of the timeout, Gardner, Martinez, Schlecht, Simonson, Blazetic, and Ruetta for the Yellow Jackets with Blazetic on serve. Habib, Kempf, Dunbar, Perry, McCaffrey, and Kotalik on the floor for the Big Red. Big winded fire handled by the Yellow Jackets. It's played up to Martinez. It's dug out by Habib. It'll be set up this time to uh, Maeve Perry, and she puts it down for the kill. Dunbar had a great look at that first hit for the Big Red, and the Yellow Jackets stuck with it as Blazetta got a dig, but Dennison coming away with the point right out of the timeout, just how you want it. Habib goes on serve now for Dennison. She'll dribble it out four times. Cue it up in the left hand, send it over with the right. Gardner to Blazetic, over to Martinez, goes back corner, and it's handled by Dennison. It'll be set over on the third hit, and down for the point is three Yellow Jackets dive after it, but nobody can elevate, and it's another point for the Big Red. 16-14 our score, BW in front. Dennison riding a two-point straight right now with Habib staying on serve. Gardner on the reception, up to Blazetic, over to Ruetta. Habib with a lunging dig, and they'll be sent over. That select handles. Now the Blazetic over to Ruetta again, into a block. It's down for a big red point. The Yellow Jackets getting some quality looks at hits, Michael, but Dennison doing a good job to read the sets and get themselves in position for blocks, and that'll force Kate Lakovic to call her first time out of the set. Yeah, I mean, just a great job by Dennison's block up there. They're playing some good defense around it. BW's been taking some good rips. I mean, that first swing by Ruetta that Dennison was able to dig up, that's a great cross-court swing, just a better dig by the libero. And, uh, you know, Dennison's able to get end up with a block on that point. Well, the Yellow Jackets lead down to one, 16-15 as Dennison on a little bit of a run here after that timeout, and they waste no time. They took 20 seconds in that timeout before breaking huddle. They are on the court waiting for the Yellow Jackets right now. Kotalik, Habib, Perry, Kempf, Johns, and 
Dunbar on the floor for Dennison. Habib will stay on serve. The Yellow Jackets counter. Martinez, Bozetic, Simonson, Ruetta, Schlecht, and Gardner. Habib nearly losing the ball on her approach. Keeps it alive. Now it's tipped over by Martinez. Batted back at her. And the Yellow Jackets with a quick hit. Catch Dennison leaking too far to one side of the court and get a deflection out of bounds for a point. Great heads up play there by Simonson, realizing that, well, first off, there really wasn't a whole lot that she was going to be able to do other than that, but to also put it in a good spot over the net to catch Dennison in a bad position. Yeah, this Dennison had overcommitted and they got caught. BW on serve now, it's Jamie Snell, and that ball is absolutely destroyed at the net by Kaylee Johns. What an incredible hit to get Dennison back on serve. How about the set there, too? Middle getting run from about nine feet off the net, setter firing it in there, and Johns with a great swing. Whitley Metz on serve, and she sends it wide. Jamie Snell. Good court awareness there, walking it to the line and letting it hit out of bounds for the Yellow Jacket point. BW will go back on serve. Ashley Curtis looked like she was going to check in. Now Simonson will check out and Josie Lynn will check in with Lila Nash returning up front as well. Lauren Gardner on serve for BW. BW leads it 18-16. Metz on the reception. It's set. For John, she'll punch it over. Gardner with a quick set. Dennison reads it perfectly. Dunbar now with a clean hit off the top of the net. Gardner with a dig, and it'll be finished at the net off the Blazetic set by Josie Lynn for the Yellow Jacket point. And Dennison, big red, burn their second timeout of the first set with the Yellow Jackets leading at 19-16. Last time Denison called a timeout, they responded very positively. The Yellow Jackets have to be aware of that and make sure that they can prevent it as much as they can by not letting Denison go on another decent run. Absolutely, and that starts with uh, one of two things. It starts with service pressure. As soon as you get out of the timeout, you want to keep Denison out of system here, make them uncomfortable, make them have to work it or work for it to score on offense. And then additionally, when Dennison more than likely will eventually side out before this sets over, siding out as quickly as you can on the BW side after that to not let them get any momentum after they side out. Dennison, again, not wasting a lot of time in that timeout. They quickly send their six back onto the floor. It'll be Dunbar, Kempf, and Johns up front in the back row. It'll be Metz. Kotalik and Habib, the Yellow Jackets counter with Ruetta, Nash, and Lynn up front with Blazetic, Snell, and Gardner rounding out the six on the floor. Gardner stays on serve, looking to build on a 19-16 lead. If you're BW, this is who you want back at the line. Gardner has been serving lights out all day today. Yeah, she had a great first match against Wilmington. She started off this second match with a service ace, and now Dennison hits it out of bounds for another yellow jacket point. And BW now with a four-point advantage. Gardner punches it medium deep in the court and then Johns absolutely crushes it down to the floor for a Denison kill. That is a young lady that you have to be very cautious of. At six foot in the middle, she has been devastating on some good looks by the, from the setter. Absolutely, and the way you keep her out of the game is you serve tough and don't let her get set. Retta punches it far right there, left side and gets it down for the Yellow Jacket kill off of the Dunbar serve. Now Rueda will check out and Ashley Curtis will go on serve for BW.
Curtis played it short, and that's going to be an ace as the young lady for Denison Metz got caught leaking a little bit too far back, then had to dive forward and hit it out of bounds, unplayable to one of her teammates. And Curtis stays on serve. Again, making the big red work for it. Snell on a dig, sends it right back over. Set up for another John's hit. Gardner backs it up to Blazetic. Now to Nash off the top of the net, handled up by Dennison. He'll be hit by the outside, blocked down for a Yellow Jacket point. Blazetic and Lynn look like they comboed that block, Michael. Absolutely, that's a great job closing to the pin there by Lynn. Tough there for the middle where you got Johns who's been killing you, running a 31 there, and then a quicker set to the pin over top of that. That's a great job by Lynn. Curtis on the serve, and again, Dennison having trouble with it. Habib will send it over on a free. Snell to Blazetic, outside to Nash, off the top of the net, and it's down for the Yellow Jacket point. BW is now on set point. They lead it 24-17 here in the first set. And Ashley Curtis will do the honors. And that's gonna be an ace as it gets hit into the scorer's table. That's the way to end the first set. BW takes it 25 to 17. We're gonna step aside for a break. When we come back, second set action for you right here on BWYellowJackets.com. Hello everyone and welcome back inside Ersprung Gymnasium at the Lou Higgins Center on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University. It's non-conference women's volleyball action as the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets play host to the Denison Big Red out of the North Coast Athletic Conference. Matt Florjancic on the call with BW men's volleyball star Michael Beard. The Yellow Jackets start strong in that first set as they take things 25-17. Now the key is can they continue the momentum in the second set? They struggled in the second set against Wilmington. Through some different lineups out there, we'll see what they're able to do against Denison in uh, this match. It'll be Dunbar on the floor with Kempf, as well as Kotalik, 
McCaffrey. Kaylee Johns and Maeve Perry on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. It'll be Gabby Schleck, Josie Lynn, Katarina Blazetic, Bella Martinez, Sam Ruetta, and Sydney Simonson. Lauren Gardner looking like she's going to sub in potentially before the start of the second set. The officials doing some lineup checks, and the libero for Dennison has checked in to replace Kaylee Johns. That libero is Sadie Habib. And now Lauren Gardner will come in, and uh, Josie Lynn will check out, and it will be Katerina Blazetic who will serve things up. Habib on the reception, up to the center. It'll be tipped over and down for the point. Maeve Perry found a spot right between three Yellow Jackets to put it down, and now Dennison will go on serve. It'll be Habib who will start the serves in the second set. Habib, the team leader coming into today's match with 27 service aces, just 29 service errors, and an 891 serve percentage. And Usually the broadcaster jinx works against your team. In this case, I apologize to Sadie Habib as I spoke out of, out of turn a little too early and she picked up a service error. Jamie Snell will go on serve for the Yellow Jackets. Received back row by Kotalik. It'll be sent over and handled by Snell. Lizetic with a quick set. Simonson with a quick hit. Dennison, all sorts of trouble tracking it down. They'll play it over on a freeze. Simonson to Blazetic. Outside it goes. Delilah Nash, and she sends it to the court for the Yellow Jacket point. BW now with a 2-1 lead here in the second set. Snell. Hits it way long, and the side out will give the point to Dennison, and that will even things at two here in the second set. Whitley Metz will check in now, and she'll replace Maeve Perry in the lineup. Metz is served, received by Snell, up to Blazetic, over to Red on the right side, off the top of the net, dug out by Habib. It'll be set over for Dunbar. Gardner with a dig. Blazetic to Ruetta. And it will be smashed out of bounds by Dunbar. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Neither team was in a good rhythm on that point, Michael. No, every both teams were way out of system. Both, I mean, the entire rally there. BW just gets lucky with an error from Dennison there. So Lauren Gardner now goes on serve. The jumping right-hander played by Habib tight to the line. It'll be hit backwards and set over on a free. Snell up to Blazetic, over to Ruetta, into a block. It's out of bounds, off of Dennison, point for the Yellow Jackets. Good positioning by Dennison there, but the angle of the ball just traveled a little bit too far to the right of the line. Yeah, the ball knows one thing, and that's the angle of whatever it's hitting. The Gardner with another serve, a dive to keep it alive. Another free ball attempt for the Yellow Jackets. This one goes deep. Gardner to Blazetic, over to Nash, dug out by Habib. It'll be played over to Dunbar, and she hits it through a block for Yellow Jack, or for a Denison point, I should say. I like that decision making there, though, by Blazetic. You've got free balls on back to back plays there. You've got Ruetta coming in on a two, Lynn coming in on what looked like a back one or a slide, and you set the outside to get a solo block for Nash, just unable to put it away there. Blazetic played it over on the third hit, tried to go deep back corner left, and she sent it a little bit too wide of the line. Really didn't have much of an option, but she did the best she could with what she had. We're even at four here in the second set. Dunbar crushes the serve. It's played up to Blazetic, now to Ruetta. She goes far side and gets it inside the line for another Yellow Jacket point. Sam Ruetta has gone cross-court 
so many times with success today, Michael, both against Wilmington and here against Denison. She's seeing something in the alignments and she's taking full advantage. Absolutely, and I think part of what's making her cross so successful is how well she's been able to hit the line as well. It's you know, tip the yep. defense is not able to key in on one spot for her. It's either, you know, it's always back and forth. It's never the same thing, just over and over and over. Kempf with a quick tip over the net, gets it to drop over a yellow jacket block attempt. We're back to even at five, and this time Kaylee Johns will be on to serve it up. Gardner with a dive on the reception. It's set over to Nash. She crushes it, and Dunbar gets a hand on it, but could not elevate it, and it's a point for the Yellow Jackets. A lot of back and forth so far in the early going of the second set. We'll see who can get on a, a good run here, and it'll be Lila Nash who will serve for BW now. She hits it into the net, and we're again even this time at six. I think to answer your question of who's going to create a gap here, it's really just going to come down to who's going to create more service pressure back there. Both teams have done a great job siding out very quickly so far this set, and that's because the service pressure has not been what it was in the first set. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams struggling to get decent runs going. Schlecht on the reception. It goes all the way over the net. And the Yellow Jackets are going to be called for an infraction. Looks like Blazetic was tight to the net, and she was the one who was flagged for the infraction. I don't know if she went up to mimic a block and tried to throw Dennison off, but nonetheless, the Big Red awarded the point. And now Blazetic hustles near the bench to track down a serve. It's sent over by Ruetta. Now Dennison plays a free. Ruetta to Blazetic, quick set over. It's handled by Kempf. Will be set up for Hamilton. Played tight to the net, tipped over by Lynn. Now to May Perry, it's blocked down, and the point is awarded to the big red. The line judge in the corner did not make the call. The umpire in the stand did. Those are tough as a line judge, too, where you got the balls coming down so fast, and you got the people from the block and the hit also coming down at the same time. It's really difficult to see some of those sometimes. Yeah, a lot of bodies involved there. Bella Martinez with a good swing on a ball, but it's handled by Dennison and punched over. It'll be hit over again by Martinez. Habib there to handle it. Now Perry with a tip, and it's down for the big red point, and Dennison on a nice little run here. They take a 9-6 advantage, and BW has seen enough. Coach Kate Latkovic calls her first time out of the second set. And while we have this opportunity, I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match is being brought to you by University Hospitals, Straczynski Sports Medicine Institute, proud official health care provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also brought to you by City Barbecue, celebrating 25 years of competition quality barbecue. The Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893. Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection to LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, a great place before or after any Yellow Jacket event. And Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official healthcare provider of Ball and Wallace University. You're enjoying today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match on BWYellowJackets.com. On the floor out of the timeout for Denison, it'll be McCaffrey, Perry, Hamilton, Kempf, Habib, and Dunbar. The Yellow Jackets counter with Martinez, Lynn, Blazetic, Gardner, Ruetta, and Schlecht. Kemp on serve for the Big Red. It's out of play on the fly, and it's a point for the Yellow Jackets. They will go on serve now with Josie Lynn doing the honors. And that's going to be an ace as it caroms off of Hamilton. It goes right to the wall here at Ersprung Gymnasium. The Yellow Jackets one point away 
from tying the score here in the second set. That's exactly what you want to see out of a timeout there. A coach's point, getting a miss serve right out of the timeout, and then coming right back with an ace. Hamilton sends it over on the third hit. Played up to Blazetic. Martinez hits it into a block, backed up by Rueda. Blazetic with another set back to Martinez into a block, and it hits Martinez high in the shoulder area and goes out of bounds for the Denison Big Red Point. Ryan Kotalik returns for Denison, and she will go on serve. Denison with a 10-8 lead here in the second set. Gardner on a reception, up to Blazetic, over to Simonson, into a block. Martinez has it to Blazetic, gets it back and hits it out of bounds. I think Martinez may have been caught off guard, Michael, by getting that set for her. Yeah, that's an interesting rotation there for BW. They have Sydney Simonson, a former outside, but playing middle this year. They have her hitting on the outside, Bella Martinez coming in to hit middle. And on a quick dig like that, they seem kind of unsure of who was going to go back and hit the outside ball. And Blazetic basically just ended up setting nobody. Blazetic set up Sam Ruetta for a back row attack on that one, and Ruetta drilled it out of bounds off of one of the big red to give the Yellow Jackets a point. Blazetic goes on serve. Habib on the reception, tied to the net. It's hit over on the second hit, and the Yellow Jackets will be awarded the point for an illegal hit by the Big Red. So 11-10, our score. Denison in front. Blazetic with a chance to tie things up here. And it's played by Dunbar. And it'll be sent over by Dunbar on the third. Blazetic with a quick hit. Sends it right back over. Dennison sends it back over. Now Ruetta clubs it over. It's handled by Dennison on a third hit. It'll be dug out by Gardner to Blazetic. Quick tip by Simonson. Played up by the big red. Perry hits it into a block. Martinez keeps it alive. Schleck then sends it toward the net, and nobody was there for the Yellow Jackets. So it's another point for the big red, and it'll be Sadie Habib who will go on serve. Looking to build on a 12-10 advantage. Received by Ruetta. Sent over to Gardner, back to Ruetta. Roll shot over. Dive to keep it alive by Dennison. Ruetta now with a dig. Gardner quick, rather, I should say, Blazetic with a quick set for Simonson, and it's played over. And then Dennison miss hits it into the net for a yellow jacket point. BW now could tie on this rotation as Jamie Snell and Lila Nash come in for Bella Martinez and Gabby Schlecht. Snell will go on serve. It's received by Dunbar. Up to Kemp, outside attack by Perry. Dug out by Jamie Snell. Rueda then hits it into and down off of a block for Yellow Jacket point. And we're even at 12 here in the second set. That's just a great all around play there by everybody on BW. An incredible dig by Snell in the middle back. A great set across the court by Nash and a way to put it away by Ruetta. Just as soon as the Yellow Jackets get to even, they find themselves on the wrong end of the score again as Snell has a service error, and now Metz will come back on for the Big Red to serve it up with a one-point lead. Gardner on a reception, up to Blazetta, quick set for Simonson. She puts it back corner, the Big Red dig it out, Dunbar with a hit, and Gardner's there for the dig. Blazetic over to Nash. And first hit goes into the rafters. D Big Red stick with it. And they're going to hit it out of bounds as it goes wide of the, the post that extends from the net. We're back to even once more. Lauren Gardner on serve. It's tight to the ground and... It'll be an ace for the Yellow Jackets as the first hit off the reception goes into the net and falls to the court. BW with a 14-13 lead now. Gardner 
Punches it over, it's short. Habib on a dive, and it's another ace for Lauren Gardner as Habib did everything she could to elevate, and then a second player dove in to try and elevate it more, and then Dennison couldn't get a third hit on it. Gardner stays on serve, punches it near the sideline, dive to keep it alive, it's blocked at the net by Lila Nash. Dennison plays through a block this time, Snell up to a Blazetic over to Rueda, and just wide of the end line for a Denison point. Claire Hamilton comes back for Denison, dropping back to go on serve is Isla Dunbar. Another great run there by Gardner though, getting BW back ahead by two before she relinquishes her run. Yeah, she's been nice at the service line today and unfortunately for her, the ball finds her lunging to her right and drops to the floor for a service ace for the Big Red. And Dunbar with a chance to put Dennison back in front. Ruetta on the reception up to Blazetic, over to Nash, and she thunders it over the net. It's dug out but sent over on a first hit by the Big Red, and this time Lynn will finish at the net as she hits it into a block and it drops on Dennison's side of the court. BW back in front, Nashley Curtis will check in to go on serve. It's played by Dunbar, up to Kempf. It'll be set down, crashing toward the ground, but Snell with a dig and it goes over on the first hit and kind of freezes Dennison and it's a point for Jamie Snell in the Bobo Wallace Yellow Jackets. That's not something you typically see every day, Michael. No, it's not, but that is one of the hardest plays to defend if you're Dennison. You hit a, a great shot over the net, quick dig right over, right to where nobody is. Dennison tried to hit it through a block and the Yellow Jackets put it down for another point on the big red side of the court. It's 18-15 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Another timeout by the Big Red. While we have this break, I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match is being brought to you by University Hospital's Straczynski Sports Medicine Institute, proud official health care provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products of Global Recycling Company. Today's match is also brought to you by City Barbecue, celebrating 25 years of competition quality Q. The Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893. Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, a great place before or after any Yellow Jacket event. And Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. You're enjoying today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match on BWYellowJackets.com. Out of the timeout, it's Gardner, Lynn, Blazetic. Nash, Curtis, and Snell on the floor for the Yellow Jackets, and Curtis will be on serve once more. The Big Red taking the full lotted 115 in the timeout before they send out Kempf, Hamilton, Johns, Dunbar, Metz, and Habib. Habib on the reception, it's quick tipped over on the second hit and played out of bounds by Lauren Gardner, so it's a Denison point. And they now have a chance to cut into a Yellow Jacket two-point advantage as BW leads it 18-16 with Kaylee Johns going on serve. Sam Ruetta subs in, Ashley Curtis subs out. Received by Ruetta, over to Snell, now to Nash, she'll get it over. It's played up to Kemp, now to Hamilton, threw a block and it's down for a Denison point. That's a good swing by Claire Hamilton. Absolutely, yeah, challenging the BW block there. Josie Lynn looked like she was just a little bit late on her jump there and uh, able to tool it off of her hand. 
Johns on the serve once more. It's received by Gardner. Up to Blazetic, over to Lynn, and it's down for the kill. Just out of the reach of Dunbar for the Yellow Jacket point. And Lila Nash will drop back to serve. Bella Martinez returns. Jamie Snell checks out. Nash, flat-footed serve, sends it over. It's dug out by Rueda on the return from Dennis. And now Martinez off her back foot, dug out by Habib. Quick set over on the second hit. Gardner read it perfectly. Over to Rueda now. She'll send it over. Kemp to Habib to Hamilton on the outside. Gardner with a diving dig. Over to Nash. It'll be played over on a free by Rueda. Habib on the dive. Over to Hamilton. Gardner plays it up to Blazetic. Over to Rueda on the right side. Block down and out of bounds off of Rueda. Collision in front of the Yellow Jacket bench between Lila Nash and... Katarina Blazetic, both players get up under their own power, which is good to see. Gabby Schlecht will come back. Lila Nash smiling as she returns to the bench. That's always good to see after a little bit of a collision there. And now Dennison goes on serve with a chance to tie things up in the second set. It's received by Schlecht. Up to Gardner, over to Martinez. She goes across her body to hit it over. Now Kemp with a quick set. Off the top of a block, it's down for Katie McCaffrey. And we're even at 19 here in the second set. Alice Kempf on serve for Dennison. It's received by Ruetta. Up to Blazetic, over to Josie Lynn, into a block. And a point is awarded to the Big Red as the Yellow Jackets charge with four hits. So Kempf will stay on with the Big Red leading it by a point, 20 to 19 here in the second set. It's received by a diving Ruetta. Lynn punches it up and Schleck sends it over on a free. Habib to Kempf to Hamilton. Down for the Denison Big Red kill. Now a two-point lead for Dennison, 21-19. And Coach Kate Latkovic calls a timeout to uh, settle her troops. And Michael, Dennison going on a little bit of a run here. They just seem like they're getting better quality chances to finish at the net, especially with Hamilton. Absolutely. I mean, the entire difference in the first set and pretty much all of the second set here is just Whoever's been more in system has done a much better job of putting the ball away. Uh, we really haven't seen a whole lot of balls put away out of system. It's pretty much rally until you can get a good swing in system or you just serve receive really well. You're in system and you put a ball away there. But uh, yeah, Denison has been doing a great job of getting themselves in a good position to be in system more often than BW here recently and they've taken a, a lead because of it. On the floor for Dennison, it's Hamilton, Habib, McCaffrey, Perry, Dunbar, and Kempf with Kemp staying on serve. The Yellow Jackets counter with Blazetic, Lynn, Martinez, Gardner, Rueda, and Schlecht. It's received by Schlecht and then Lynn. Can't get a really good deflection on it to keep it alive. And it's another point for the Big Red. Paige Contras will check in. Gabby Schlecht will check out. Serve reception seems like it's uh, let the Yellow Jackets down a little bit here in the second set, Michael. Yeah, I don't, credit Dennison. They've been serving the ball really tough. But, yeah, BW just not quite passing as in system as you would like to see. Ruetta on a reception. She gets it back from Blazetic, sends it far side. It's kept alive by the big red tip at the net and then blocked down by Bella Martinez. She, I think she got caught off guard by the celebration. Josie Lynn went over there and gave her a nice shove to the chest to celebrate. And Bella looked like a deer in the headlights. I'm going to give her a little bit of heads up next time on doing that. Josie Lynn on serve for the Yellow Jackets. 
As she keeps it alive at center on a second hit by Blazetic. Kemp over to Hamilton into a block, and it's out of bounds. Point to the Big Red. Denison with a 23-20 lead here in the second set. BW with a one set to none lead in the match. It's hit over, and that's going to be an ace and put the Big Red on set point as Ryan Kotalik hits it off of Paige Contras into the curtain that separates the field house and the gymnasium here at Baldwin Wallace. Contras on the reception. Up to Blazetic, over to Martinez. Off her back leg, hits it into a block, and it's down for a yellow jacket point. Still set point for Dennison as they lead it 24-21. BW needs a nice run here to keep this second set going, and they have one of their best, Katarina Blazetic, on serve. Off the top of the net. It's tight to the net for Kempf, and it'll be played over on a free. Simonson to Blazetic, over to Ruetta. Dug out by Kemp, now to Habib. Outside hit coming, and it's down for set point by Isla Dunbar. Dennison responds after losing the first set 25-17. They take the second set 25-21. We're going to step aside for a break. When we come back, third set action for you right here on BWYellowJackets.com. and welcome back into Ersprung Gymnasium at the Luhigan Center on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University. Matt Florjancic and Michael Beard on the call of today's women's volleyball non-conference affair between the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets and the Denison Big Red. We're even at one set apiece as we get set for the third set of action. The Yellow Jackets will send out Katarina Blazetic, Ashley Curtis, Sam Ruetta, Sydney Simonson, Josie Lynn, and seeing her first action today is Brandon McClellan. Lauren Gardner comes in to replace Lynn. And that will be your starting six for this third set. Dennison counters with Habib. 
Kotalik, McCaffrey, Dunbar, Kempf, and Perry. Dennison will hit left to right here in this third set, BW right to left. And it will be Kotalik who will be on serve. Played by Curtis, over to Rueda. Now to Sidney Simonson, into a block, and it's down for the Yellow Jacket point. Katarina Blazetic goes on serve. It's played back row by Habib, up to Kemp. Now over to Dunbar, and she hits it long for the Yellow Jacket point. Zedek serve, played up once more. This time it is punched over and down by McCaffrey. She went far back left corner and put it down for the kill. Sadie Habib on serve for the Big Red. And Curtis plays it. Up to Blazetic, quick set for Simonson off the top of the net and down for the point. Simonson looked a little embarrassed by how that point came about, but as a former kicker for a team down the road here once said, the scoreboard leaves no room for interpretation. Bryn McClellan will go on serve for the Yellow Jackets with the score even at two. It's played up to Kemp and punched over. McClellan up to Blazetic, now to Nash, and she'll fire it right back. Habib to Kemp. Perry unloads. Blazetic with a self-defense swing. Elevates the ball over the net. The only problem is it was sent out of bounds, and that's a Denison big red point. Not much you can do with that kind of placement, Michael. No, I think self-defense is probably the best way to put that on defense. Sometimes you just got to self-preservation yeah. and just whatever happens, happens. Metz checks in and serves for the Denison Big Red. Gardner tracks it down, it'll be sent into the net by Nash. The Yellow Jackets never got in into a rhythm as Snell was on serve reception. Gardner had to hustle after it and then Nash didn't really have much room to try and launch to hit it over properly. Metz serves it once more. Snell on the reception and that's an ace an ace, I should say, for the Big Red, and they lead it 5-2 here in the third set. That's plays it close to the line. Simonson to Blazetic to Rueda, dug out by Habib. Played up to Kemp. Dunbar roll shots it over. Snell to Blazetic. Quick set for Simonson off the top of a block, down for a yellow jacket point. Great start to the set here from Sydney Simonson. She has all three of BW's points and something that you won't see very often there. BW pushes Jamie Snell back in serve receive, but because they're in rotation two, Sam Ruetta, who they usually want to pass, is unable to based on the rotation. So they have Sydney Simonson, their middle, former outside, go back and pass on the right. Gardner goes on serve for the Yellow Jackets. Snell with a dig, quick set for Lynn, self-defense Swings twice over as the Yellow Jackets punch it over. And now this time, it's Kaylee Johns who will finish for the Denison Big Red kill. Michael, going back to your previous point, I mean, let's talk about that a little bit more in depth. I mean, when you're forced to do something like Sidney Simonson's able to do, or was forced to do, how, how difficult is it to make that adjustment? Well, I think for her, she's played three years as an outside, so it's not... It's not like saying to somebody who's been trained as a middle their whole life, hey, go pass a ball. You know, that would be a little bit too much to ask for probably 99% of middles in the world. But for her, it's really no big deal. She's used to passing and serve receive. She played a decent amount on the outside last year where she had to pass. So just something that the coach asks you to do, and Simonson is more than capable of doing that. So the Yellow Jackets went back on serve 
and then had a deflection off of the shoulder of Jamie Snell. Go out of bounds for another Denison Big Red point. And it'll be Kaylee Johns who will serve. Received by Ruetta. Up to Blazetic. Over to Nash on the outside. Off the top of a block. It's down for a Yellow Jacket point. Cullen comes back for BW. Ashley Curtis comes back as well. She'll replace Lila Nash. Jamie Snell will sub out for Bryn McClellan. Curtis on serve. Mets on the reception. Gardner on the dig for the Yellow Jackets. Over to Ruetta it goes. It's dug out by Mets. Hit over by Hamilton. Curtis there for the dig. McClellan with the second hit, and then Ruetta with a dive, can't keep it alive. McClellan on her second hit went from tight to the net to far back corner, and that's what caught Ruetta off guard. And she had to book it to even try to get a, a little bit of a hit on the ball. Yeah, those ones are really tough to set there. Really high up in the air and a whole bunch of backspin on it off of the dig. Tough play there for McClellan. So Kempf goes on serve now for Denison. They lead at 8-5 here in the third. We're even at one set apiece. Ruetta with a back row attack, goes with a roll shot. Almost a collision there for Denison. And they'll play it over on a free. Ruetta to Blazetic. Over to McClellan, and it's down for the Yellow Jacket kill. That's a nice looking swing from Bryn McClellan right there. With her heavily taped right hand, she's still able to put a good swing on the ball and get it down for a kill. Absolutely, and a great job there by Ruetta. Not the best of D-ball sets there from Blazetic, but she's able to put it in a spot that causes chaos on the Denison side, gives us a free ball back, and allows Blazetic to set McClellan in system. Josie Lynn hits it into the net for a service error, and Denison reclaims their three-point advantage. They lead at 9-6 here in the third set. And Ryan Kotalik will go back on serve once more for the Big Red. It's received by Ruetta. Up to Blazetic, over to Simonson, off the top of a block. It's down for a Yellow Jacket point. Katarina Blazetic will go back on serve for BW. It's played up to Kemp. Now to Perry. Through a block, Lazetic to Gardner to McClellan. Through a block once more for the Yellow Jackets. Now Habib with a set to Perry. Gardner to Blazetic over to Ruetta. It's dug out by the Big Red. Dunbar hits it over. Gardner to Blazetic. Quick set over the net. Played well by Dennison. Dunbar with a hit into a block, and it's down for a Yellow Jacket point. I think Sidney Simonson, right place, right time for the Yellow Jacket block. Sydney Simonson off to a very hot start here in this third set. She's got five of BW's eight points already, and she's been out for half of the points. So good start by Simonson. Ruetta with a block attempt as the serve reception goes over the net in a one shot, and Dennison called for an infraction. We're back to even here at nine apiece in the third set with Blazetic staying on serve. It's received by Habib, up to Kemp. Quick hit over by McCaffrey, handled by the Yellow Jackets. McClellan unloads, but Habib is there for the dig. It'll be sent over now on a free. It's Curtis to Blazetic, and it's punched out of bounds by Sidney Simonson. I like that run, though, there from Blazetic. Simonson's been hot this set. Keep feeding her. Yeah, exactly. Find the hot hand and let Dennison figure out a way to try and deal with her. Habib goes on serve with a 10-9 advantage here in the third set, and she muscles it out of bounds for the side out. We're back to even. And now Jamie Snell will sub in for Bryn McClellan. Lila Nash comes on for Ashley Curtis. Snell will go on serve. Played back row up to Kemp. Perry with the outside hit. It's blocked at the net. 
Dennison keeps it alive. Dunbar with an attack. Dug out by Lauren Gardner, and then Dunbar tried to get a little greedy and go right for the quick kill again as Gardner's dig went all the way back over the net. Dunbar hit it wide of the sideline. It's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Jamie Snell on serve for BW. Played up to Kemp. Now Perry with a left-handed hit. Out of bounds. Another point for the Yellow Jackets. They lead it 12-10 here in the third set. Snell's serve played tight to that sideline. Big swing by Johns. Blocked at the net by the Yellow Jackets. Dunbar unloads a good hit. And this one's down in bounds for the Denison Big Red Point. That's one of the few times that the Yellow Jackets have had an answer for Kaylee Johns, but Denison plays through it and gets the point. That's a great shot there on the outside too. You're approaching inside the court. You hit it over top of the block and over top of Glazetic playing defense and a right back as well into the deep corner. Lila Nash tried to hit it over the net, hit it into the net instead on the third hit. Credit the Yellow Jackets for even getting to that third hit as Snell and Gardner had to do some, uh, go through some extenuating circumstances just to keep the ball alive. Ruetta on a roll shot, gets it over on the third. It's set by Habib for Dunbar, and that's a kill off of Jamie Snell. And just like that, Dennison is back in front, 13-12 here in the third set with Whitley Metz on serve. And that's an ace as Gardner had to dive to her right to try and keep it alive. Simonson let that ball go to her left. And Gardner couldn't keep it alive with the dive. It's 14-12, Dennison in front here in the third set. And BW will burn its first time out of the set to try and stem the tide a little bit and quell the momentum, if you will, that Dennison has. Yeah, I think right there we were talking a little bit earlier about Simonson dropping back to pass in that rotation too. You saw a little bit of the lack of practice, shall we say, in that rotation right there where normally you would uh, think that Simonson or whoever's playing in the right back there would take that. Typically you would probably go seams left there. Simonson would step in and take that and uh, you know let Gardner kind of stay more in the center of the court there, but Gardner having to lay out to her right, not able to get a good pass on that one. So the Yellow Jackets find themselves on the wrong end of a 14-12 score here in the third set. We're even at one set apiece. And out of the break, it'll be Ruetta, Gardner, Blazetic, Simonson, Snell, and Nash on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. Johns, Dunbar, Kemp, Kotalik, Habib, and Metz on the floor for the Big Red with Metz staying on serve. It's received by Ruetta, up to Blazetic, over to Simonson, dug out by Metz. Up to Kemp, now to Dunbar, roll shot, handled by Gardner. Up to Blazetic, outside hit from Nash, played by Metz. Up to Kemp on a tip, on the second hit over. Now the Yellow Jackets looking to respond. Ruetta's hit, dug out by Metz. Now a big swing by Kaylee Johns. Karam's out of bounds off of Lauren Gardner for the Denison Big Red Point. Kaylee Johns listed at six foot, plays a heck of a lot bigger than that at the net, Michael. Yeah, she just got a great arm. She knows where to swing. She's good at seeing the block, swinging around people. And speaking of knowing where to put the ball, Sam Ruetta found Whitley Metz out of position and absolutely crushed it for the kill. Lauren. That's something that you see when Ruetta comes in for that two ball, and you also see it with Simonson, you know, mentioned that she's an outside playing middle now. It's, I don't want to say it's easy to make a transition from outside to middle, but as far as hitting goes, you have to have so much better of a vision as an outside. You're usually facing a double block all the time. You've got to worry about the high ball sets, the in-system sets, 
So it's a lot easier to be able to swing against, you know, typically just one block only in the middle and be able to, you know, find hands, find the openings in the block. Well, Kaylee Johns has found an opening in the Yellow Jackets defensive alignment, and she crushed another kill to the court. And the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets, this set starting to get away from them a little bit as Dennison has a 17 13 lead with Dunbar on serve. Received by Ruetta, quick tip over by Blazetic. And that catches Dennison out of system. But they get it over nonetheless. Nash on a third hit. It's played by Hamilton. Up to Kemp, back to Hamilton on the left side. Through a block and down for the Dennison Big Red Point. These hitters up front for Dennison are absolutely incredible. And they have staked the Big Red out to an 18-13 lead. Timeout on the floor by the Yellow Jackets while we have this break. Want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match is being brought to you by University Hospitals, Trasinski Sports Medicine Institute, proud official health care provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also brought to you by City Barbecue, celebrating 25 years of competition quality barbecue. The Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893. Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, a great place before or after any Yellow Jacket event. And Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Ball and Wallace University. You're enjoying today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match on BWYellowJackets.com. Out of the timeout, it's Hamilton, Johns, Kemp, Habib, Metz, and Dunbar on the floor for Dennison. On the floor for the Yellow Jackets, Blazetic, Lynn, Ruetta, Gardner, Snell, and Nash now. And now Schlecht will be sent to sub in, and it looks like she'll go in for Jamie Snell. Right before we went to time out there, you were talking about the hitters for Dennison. Typically in a rotation like this where you only have two hitters front row and a setter, usually that's a more difficult rotation to score points in. But for Dennison, they've got their two best hitters front row at this time with uh, Johns and Hamilton, two of their, easily their two best offensive options, and they've scored a lot of points in these rotations. Yeah, Hamilton's a nice option off the bench for the Big Red. Yellow Jackets got a point there, and now Sam Ruetta on serve, and Hamilton quickly says, you know what, I'll take that point right back on the kill. And again, just unloading on the ball for the point. Hamilton just does a great job, very similar to the BW freshman, just taking a rip on pretty much anything that gets set her way. Caitlin Chu checks into the match for the first time today for the Denison Big Red. She's a 5'8 sophomore from Naperville, Illinois. Nash with an outside hit blocked by the Big Red. The Yellow Jackets keep it alive, and Josie Lynn will put it down for the kill. 19-15 is our score. The Yellow Jackets trailed by four, four here in the third set. When you look at kills, Hamilton off the bench has eight, Johns has six, and Dunbar has six for Dennison, and Maeve Perry has five. It's been an impressive hitting day. BW overall has more kills than Dennison by two so far. Lozetic with a set. Bryn McClellan puts it down for the Yellow Jacket point. And BW now within three of the Big Red with Ashley Curtis on serve. Curtis punches it over. Metz has it carry him underneath the net. That's a service ace for the Yellow Jackets. And that's a fine time for it, too. And just like that, Dennison will call a timeout. They'll try to do what BW did with their timeout, trying to stave the momentum a little bit. Absolutely, and Ashley Curtis has done a great job from the service line here. That's her third ace in three sets uh, to no misses so far. BW in general has done a great job serving this game, and uh, you hope that you can continue that momentum out of the timeout here. Absolutely. 
That's the key. Carry the momentum as you can. The Yellow Jackets down 19-17 here in the third set. We're even at one set apiece. BW with already one win on the day to improve to 12 and 10 overall as they earn their second Ohio Athletic Conference victory of the season with a four set win over the Wilmington Quakers. If the Yellow Jackets are to win today, it'd be another four, potentially at least a four set affair with the Big Red out of the timeout. It is Hamilton with McCaffrey, Kemp, Habib, Metz, and Dunbar. The Yellow Jackets counter with Gardner, Ruetta, Lynn, Blazetic, McClellan, and Curtis, who is on serve. And that's going to be another ace as there's some confusion by Dunbar. She wanted desperately to let that ball go because it was destined to land out of bounds. And unfortunately, she was already in position to make the hit and couldn't pull out of the way in time. Curtis again serves it up. Habib on the reception. Gets set up for Hamilton, and it's down for the kill. Hamilton with good placement on that kill. As now Maeve Perry comes back for the big red. And Kempf will drop back to go on serve for Dennison. This one's received by Curtis Lynn with a quick hit through a block, and Dennison plays it over on a free. Ruetta to Blazetic over to McClellan, and that goes back over on one shot, and the Yellow Jackets mishandle it, and it's down for Dennison Point. Lynn went up for a block, just as easily could have gone up for a finish, and it's instead down on the Yellow Jacket side of the court. I think Lynn was expecting to joust the Denison middle there, but uh, the ball ended up being more on the BW side, and it just rolled down her chest. McClellan hits it over on the third for the Yellow Jackets. Perry sends it over. Blazetic to Gardner on a quick hit. Gets it over. Habib with a set now to Hamilton. Into a block. It's out of bounds off of the Yellow Jackets. It's a point for the Big Red. And Denison now leads it 22-18 to here in the third. Looking to take a two sets to one lead here if they can close things out. Kemp on serve once more. It's received by Curtis. Over to Ruetta. Now to McClellan. She goes across court. Hamilton hits it. Now Kemp with a well-placed second hit. Gets it down in the corner. Ashley Curtis on the dive. Couldn't get there in time. And Dennison's opened up a five-point lead. Just two points away from closing out this set win. Kemp serve received by Ruetta up to Blazetic over to McClellan. She'll punch it over. Hamilton to Kemp. Now to Perry. She goes left back corner and gets it down for the point. The Yellow Jackets thought the Yellow Jackets thought they got the point. They were celebrating. The officials ruled that that ball was down for a Denison point. Now Denison's on set point, Michael. What did you see there? I don't want to be a backseat ref, but uh, that ball appeared to be out of bounds by about two feet wide of the sideline. And uh, for some reason, that ball was called inbounds. So, but the ball doesn't lie, so BW point right back. Yeah, BW gets a side out on the long serve. Now Josie Lynn goes on serve with plenty of work to do. It's still set point for the Big Red. Kemp. Over to Hamilton. Hamilton hits it into the net. It's down for Yellow Jacket point. Josie Lynn stays on serve. Still set point for the Big Red. Lynn floats the serve up. A diving Dunbar keeps alive over to Hamilton. She'll tip it over. Lynn to Blazetic. Now to McClellan. She'll get the kill as she found Kempf with the ball, and Kempf couldn't elevate it. Love that serve there from Lynn. Just really congested the Denison offense over there. You got three people standing over there, passing or ready to move somewhere else. 
make them really have to communicate where they're going. Hamilton sends it over. It's McClellan to Blazetic to Simonson through a block. And Dennison will send it over on a free. Ruetta to Blazetic to McClellan. She winds and fires, and Habib is there for the dig. Hamilton tries to hit it over, and she hits it well over the net and well over the line for another yellow jacket point. And it's still a set point for Dennison, but they will take a timeout. They were up 24 to 19 when the Yellow Jackets went on serve. It's now 24-22. BW with a chance to rescue themselves here in this third set. While we have this opportunity, I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match is being brought to you by University Hospital's Trasinski Sports Medicine Institute. Proud official health care provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes. BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics. And Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also brought to you by City Barbecue, celebrating 25 years of competition quality barbecue. The Oswald Company, risk and insurance leader since 1893. Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, a great place before or after any Yellow Jacket event. And Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. You're enjoying the Yellow Jackets women's volleyball match on BWYellowJackets.com. Out of the timeout, Ruetta, Curtis, Blazetic, McClellan, Simonson, Lynn on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. Hamilton, Perry. Dunbar, McCaffrey, Kempf, and Habib on the floor for Dennison. Lynn floats it over. It's taken by Perry, sent over to Hamilton, through a block. It's down for the Dennison point, and the Big Red they have now taken a two sets to one a lead here in the match. They take that third set 25 22. They won the second 25 to 21. We're going to switch ends and take a little bit of a break when we come back. Four set action for you as the Yellow Jackets try to keep this one alive and force a winner take all fifth set. You're listening to today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball matches on BWYellowJackets.com.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back inside Ersprung Gymnasium at the Lou Higgins Center on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University. It's women's volleyball action on tap today as the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets have a doubleheader that they are completing against the Denison Big Red. They find themselves on the wrong end of a two sets to one deficit after taking the first set 25 17. The Yellow Jackets drop the second 25 21 and the third 25 22 so a little bit of work for the yellow jackets to do here as they look to force this match into a winner take all fifth set they're gonna have to play a strong fourth set to do it though out of the break between the sets it's perry dunbar kempf mccaffrey johns and kotalik on the floor for dennison the Yellow Jackets will respond with McClellan, Simonson, Lozetic, Lexi Smith seeing her first action in the match today, Sam Ruetta, and Lauren Gardner who will sub out Josie Lynn, and Sadie Habib will sub out Kaylee Johns for the Big Red. So both liberos on the court, and the Yellow Jackets will start on serve, and it'll be Katarina Blazetic who will do the honors. Interesting uh, rotation change here. You mentioned Lexi Smith back in the game. She's playing right side. Sam Ruetta back to her usual outside position as well. Habib on serve reception, and then McCaffrey with a hit over the net, dug out by Blazetic. The Yellow Jackets play it over on a free. Kempf with a set. Perry on a tip, and that's going to stay on Dennison's side of the net for a yellow jacket point. Katarina Blazetic on serve, and that's going to be an ace as Sadie Habib got caught in no woman's land. She wanted to pull the hands back to get out of the way of the ball because that sucker was going out of bounds, and she was unable to do so in time. Blazetic on serve, and Kemp has to hustle to keep it alive. Now big swing and a point by Isla Dunbar for the kill for the uh, Big Red. Sadie Habib now will serve. And Kaylee Johns is back on the floor for the Big Red. And that will be a service error on Sadie Habib for the Yellow Jacket point. Bryn McClellan on serve for the Yellow Jackets. A jumping right-hander played up to Kempf, now to Perry, into a block, and that's going to be down, out of bounds, off of the big red for the Yellow Jacket point. Good block right there by the Yellow Jackets, Michael. Absolutely, Simonson and Ruetta timing that up very nicely. Good to see Ruetta being able to still timer block on the outside, given that she's been playing right side, really, for the last two months of the season. Bryn McClellan on the serve. It's played over and down by the big red. The Yellow Jackets got caught out of position right there on the block attempt. And it's down for the Denison point. McClellan checks out. Schlecht is back for BW. Whitley Metz on to serve. It's received by Schlecht. Quick tip by Blazetic on the set and then over by Simonson. Now the Yellow Jackets go for a block. It's backed up by Schlecht. Over to Ruetta on her left side, and it's down for the Yellow Jacket point. EW with a 5-2 to two advantage in this fourth set with Lauren Gardner going on serve, and Lauren Gardner has been outstanding at the service line today. Metz plays it up to Kemp. Quick hit over by Johns. Dug out by Gardner. Up to Blazetic. Over to Ruetta. Dug out by Habib. Up to Kemp, now over to Dunbar, and it's out of bounds off of Gabby Schlecht. And much like Habib earlier in the set, Schlecht couldn't get out of the way of the ball in time. So Dunbar on serve for the Big Red. Schlecht on a dive to keep the reception. Now 
Dennison sends it over on a block. Smith threw a block, and that's going to be down for Yellow Jacket point. Lexi Smith gives the Yellow Jackets a lot of options being a left-hander on that outside. Absolutely, and something that you might not realize is Smith is a lot more ambidextrous than you would think. She said she does a lot of things right-handed, and you can kind of see it there on that tip, being able to nicely put it into the block for a recycle, get it back, and then able to actually hit it with her dominant left hand there to put the ball away. And speaking of hitting things with a dominant hand, Lex, or rather Claire Hamilton, I should say, rockets a kill down to the court off of one of the Yellow Jackets to put the Big Red back on serve. Kaylee Johns will do the honors. She hits it over with the right hand. That's going to be an ace. Schleck was way back near the end line, and that ball, as soon as it crossed the net, deceived to drop right to the floor. Absolutely, yeah. You get those with those float serves sometimes where they just barely go over the tape, and then they instantly fall like that. Tough one there for Schleck. Ruetta on the reception. She'll get it right back from Blazetta, hit it into a block. It's out of bounds off the big red point for the Yellow Jackets. Michael, going back to your previous point, I mean, those floating serves, are those kind of like, not to always keep jumping sports for analogies, but in baseball terms, is that kind of like a knuckleball where it just kind of dances and then does its own thing? Yeah, because you never know really what it's going to do. You know, there, there are some that, you know, are going to float and continue to float and don't drop at all. Some are going to go right over the net and drop. There have been some that I've seen both in the men's and the women's game where it looks like they're going to be below the tape and then they rise above the tape, go over, and then drop back down again. And it's like... You just never know what you're going to get with those float serves. And that goes for even the person who's hitting them, correct? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, there's there's been plenty of times of practice. I think the best example for us is Colby Whiteside. He's arguably our best float server. He'll, he'll have some where it's going right at the tape, and you're like, oh, no chance that this goes over, and it'll just rise up and then go deep on you, and it's you're just you have no idea what to do. You're just kind of trying to throw yourself in front of the ball in hopes that it goes somewhere decently well. Well, Dennison ties it up on the previous point with Kempf on serve. And McClellan winds and fires it toward the big red, and it's out of bounds off of Dennison for the Yellow Jacket point. Bryn McClellan coming in in the second set of the match today, and she's giving the Yellow Jackets some nice hits on the outside. Absolutely, yeah. She's hitting 250 on the day, a little bit more than that after that point. But she's had some great swings that haven't resulted in kills, but have put the Jackets in good positions to score after that. McClellan with another hit. It's kept alive by Kemp. Over to Habib, now to Perry. And it's deflected out of bounds by Ashley Curtis. And she had a wry smile on her face after that one because she knew that ball was heading out of bounds. Tried desperately to get out of the way and couldn't do it. Absolutely. That's one of the things that coaches preach all the time is you know it's always better to hit it deep than hit it into the net because at least if you hit it deep there's a chance that the other team will play it and that's what happened there Kotalik on the serve and then uh, Simonson hits it into a block for a Denison point the Big Red now with a 9-8 advantage here in the fourth set Rueda on the reception, up to Blazetic, over to McClellan. She'll punch it down for the Yellow Jacket kill. McClellan, across her body, looked like she just kind of waved at it, found an open gap on the far sideline, and got it down. I mean, you, you can't really explain it. You just have to watch it sometimes. Yeah, that's one of those, Blazetic, a little bit too far of a push on that set, and McClellan just doing what she can to keep it in the court and actually puts it in a great spot that... The big red was not expected. And McClellan puts it in another great spot as she puts it right on the back line and puts the Yellow Jackets in front, 10-9. This one's played right over, and then Sidney Simonson says, thank you very much. I'm going to punctuate that point by sending it down with my right hand for the kill. Great service pressure there by Blazetic as well. Yeah, Blazetic. On serve once more, sends it long for the side out, but she gave the Yellow Jackets some good opportunities there to make some plays. Absolutely, far more than just a setter. She does a great job from the service line and she plays way better defense than you would expect out of most setters. 
Sadie Habib will go on serve for the Big Red. It's received by Gardner. Up to Blazetic. Back row from Rueda. Habib plays it right back over. Gardner to Blazetic to Simonson into a block. And it is def it's a deflection off of Dennison, and the point will be awarded to the Yellow Jackets. Some confusion there. The officials coming together. BW awarded the point. Bryn McClellan will go on serve. It's set up to Kemp. Now to Perry. Through a block. It's kept alive by Smith. Good hustle. McClellan sends it over, but it's out of bounds. That's a good hustle play right there, though, by Lexi Smith. Absolutely, and a great job by Blazetic of just getting in front of that ball on defense. Like I said, she does a great job on defense, just popping the ball up somewhere to try and give somebody a chance to play it. Great run by Smith, just a little unfortunate that she couldn't get it back a little bit more into the court from McClellan to play it back over. Whitley Metz on serve, played by Gardner, tight to the net. Blazetic with the set, Ruetta with the hit, and Ruetta with the kill for the ball from Wallace Yellow Jackets. Josie Lynn on for the Yellow Jackets with Lauren Gardner on serve. Floating right-hander, it's short now. Beeb had to dive to keep it alive. It's sent over on a freeze. Smith to Blazetic to Ruetta, down for the Yellow Jacket kill. Coach Carter Cassell looked toward the scoreboard and I think in a couple more points, if the Yellow Jackets keep this run going, we might see a Denison timeout. Gardner with another short serve, played up and over on the first hit. Blazetic with a quick hit, over. Then Kemp tried to fire back and hit it right into the net for another Yellow Jacket point. And there we go. That's a timeout for the Big Red with the Yellow Jackets leading it 15-11 to 11 here in the fourth set. While well, we have this opportunity, I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match is being brought to you by University Hospitals, Straczynski Sports Medicine Institute, proud official health care provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also brought to you by City Barbecue, celebrating 25 years of competition quality barbecue, the Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893, Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, a great place before or after any Yellow Jacket event. And Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. You're enjoying today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match on BWYellowJackets.com. Yellow Jackets with a 15-11 lead in this fourth set. They are down two sets to one. Need to win here to send it to a winner take all. First one to 15, set number five. Johns, Metz, Kotalik, Kemp, Dunbar, and Habib on the floor for Dennison. Smith, Blazetic, Lynn, Ruetta, Schlecht, and Gardner on the floor for the Jackets with Gardner staying on serve. Floating right-hander, dive by Metz to keep it alive over to Kemp. Played into the net by Kotalik. Another point for the Yellow Jackets. Gardner plays it to the back right corner. It's set up for Johns, and she has it blocked by the Yellow Jackets. It's down for a point. That has not happened too much No, today. Johns, Johns has been doing a great job hitting around the block or high off the top of the BW block. That's one of the first ones that she's actually brought it down to give the BW block a chance to. Gardner's serve was short, and again the reception went over on the first hit. Ruetta tried to play it right back and got whistled for an infraction to give Dennison a... A gift point there with Dunbar on serve. Schlecht on the reception. Now Smith unloads but hits it into the net for another Denison point. And that's how quickly momentum can turn. Sch 
Select on the reception, up to Blazetic. Quick hit by Lynn, and it's down off of the block from Kaylee Johns. And three straight points for the Big Red. With Dunbar back on serve once more. Into the net, it's a service error. The Yellow Jackets get the point and go back on serve. And it looks like Ashley Curtis will check in. She'll replace Lexi Smith. Curtis punches it over. It's received by Dunbar. Tight to the net to Kemp. Punched over by Hamilton. Down for the Denison point. Kaylee Johns on serve. Received by Curtis, up to Blazetic, over to Ruetta, and it's out of bounds. So Johns will stay on serve once more. Received by Gardner, up to Blazetic. Quick hit at the net by Lynn, handled by Hamilton. Sent back over to her. She rackets a shot over that's dug out by Gardner. Over to Ruetta now into a block, and it's out of bounds off of the big red. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Good job there by Ruetta, continuing to swing there even after she hit the last one long. Challenges the block on that one, is able to get the tool out of bounds. So, time. Timeout on the floor by the officials. Looks like we might need some attention for one of the Denison athletes. Somebody's running a Band-Aid over. And a trainer for BW will check on her as well. That's when you know you got a good teammate willing to help place a bandage to keep you in a game. That's how important Isla Dunbar has been to the Big Reds attack today. She, she's she been quiet in the fact that Johns obviously gets a lot of the credit, as does Hamilton, but Dunbar has been a, a real difficult person to handle today. Absolutely. Well, all, all the pins for Denison and especially their middle Johns has been really difficult to handle, especially in system. And uh, yeah, you know, BW has done a good job for the most part of limiting Denison's in-system opportunities, but when they have been in-system, they have been very difficult to stop. So Sam Ruetta on serve now for the Yellow Jackets. Played by Dunbar, up to Kempf, over to McCaffrey. Blazetic to Gardner, now to McClellan. She'll roll shot it over. Dunbar, up to Kempf, over to Hamilton. She punches it wide to the sideline, out of bounds for a Yellow Jacket point. Timeout on the floor by the Denison Big Red. With the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets leading it 20 to 16 here in the fourth set. this opportunity one more time I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match is being brought to you by University Hospital Straczynski Sports Medicine Institute proud official health care provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes BSN Sports and Nike the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products a global recycling company today's match is also brought to you by City Barbecue celebrating 25 years of competition quality barbecue the Oswald Company risk and insurance leaders since 1893 and Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider, as well as Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics, Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, a great place before or after any Yellow Jacket event, and Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. You're enjoying today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match on BWYellowJackets.com.
Sam Ruetta stays on serve for the Yellow Jackets. Played by Metz. Tight to the net to Kemp. And McCaffrey sends it over. It's returned on the first hit by the Yellow Jackets. Hamilton sets it up and rackets it down to the court for the kill. I should say Hamilton was set up by Kemp for the hit. Now Perry returns to replace Metz. Kempf will go on serve. It's received by Ruetta. Up to Blazetic, punched over by Gardner. Habib to Kemp to Hamilton. Gardner there for the dig. Up to Blazetic, over to McClellan. Off her back foot, puts it down for the Yellow Jacket kill. Something McClellan does extremely well that I'm noticing in this game is her wrist snap even with the thumb issue, is incredible. I mean, she's fading away there. She hits that ball over top of the block and down in front of the person playing middle back at 20 feet. That's very impressive. Josie Lynn on the serve. The Yellow Jackets get a block of Claire Hamilton, and it's down for the BW point. To your point, Michael McClellan showing just how much a veteran presence in this lineup can really help the Yellow Jackets. And really, her skill set could also lend itself to being a good mentor for a lot of the young hitters that BW has. See Absolutely. Him? I'm sure that she's given them a lot of help in practices and whatnot. You got a lot of young freshmen that are just trying to learn, you know, how to score at this level. They obviously have all the talent. They're used to scoring in high school, but it is a different beast in college trying to score. You know, the defense is a lot better. The block's a lot bigger than you're seeing in high school and in club tournaments. So just her having been around the block, knowing, hey, this is what you got to do to be successful at this level has got to be extremely helpful for these young ones. It's pretty invaluable for the Yellow Jackets to have her transfer in with their last remaining year of eligibility to do that for BW, as well as being a consistent outside hitter. And speaking of Bryn McClellan, she goes right down that near side line and buries it in the corner for another Yellow Jacket point. BW 23, Denison 18 here in the fourth set. BW two points away from forcing a winner take all fifth set. Lozetic serves it up, played up by Habib to Kemp, over to Perry, into a block, it's down for the Yellow Jacket point. Sidney Simonson with the block, puts the Yellow Jackets on set point. Simonson has done a great job these last couple of points closing pin to pin and getting pressed as soon as possible. Dunbar on the reception, the Yellow Jackets with another block at the net, Habib keeps it alive. Perry hits it up, it's blocked by Simonson. Lozetic over to McClellan, punches it far toward the baseline, it's kept alive by Habib into a block, it's Dunbar hitting it for the Denison point. Still set point for the Yellow Jackets though as they lead it 24 to 19. Habib on serve for Denison. And that's a service here. We're going to a fifth and final winner take all set as BW claims the fourth, 25 to 19. They won the first 25-17, lost the second and third, 25, 21 and 25, 22 respectively and then won 25 to 19 in the fourth to force this fifth set. And the captains for both teams come to the center of the court for a coin toss to the side who will go on serve. And it looks like Dennison won the coin toss. We're gonna step aside for a break. When we come back, it's fifth and final set action right here between the Dennison Big Red and Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets.
Welcome back in to Ersprung Gymnasium at the Lou Higgins Center on the campus of Ball and Wallace University. Matt Florchancic and Michael Beard on the call of this non-conference contest between the Denison at Big Red and the host Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. We're even at two sets apiece. This one's going to a winner take all. Fifth set, first one to 15, win by two, Michael. Yeah, absolutely. Jackets played really well in that first set and in the fourth set there. Uh, pin offense has been looking really good here recently. Service pressure has been picking up and uh, they've been able to stay in system more frequently than Denison here as of late. So to start this fifth set, it'll be Ruetta, Gardner, Curtis, Simonson, Blazetic, and McClellan on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. The Big Red will counter with Kemp, Kotalik, Johns, Perry, McCaffrey, and Dunbar. Now Habib will sub out Johns. And Dennison will start on serve. It will be Ryan Kotalik who will do the honors. It's played by Curtis and into the stand officials area for an ace for the Big Red. They start off strong. Received by Ruetta, up to Blazetic, over to McClellan, and that's down for a Yellow Jacket kill. Katarina Blazetic goes on serve for the Yellow Jackets. It's played up to Kemp. McCaffrey at the net, tips it over. Now Simonson tips it over. It's deflected out of bounds by the Big Red for a Yellow Jacket point. Great read there on defense by Lexi Smith. Saw the tip, got in there quickly. Quick serve by Blazetic, tied to the net. It'll be played over on a free, and it's somehow kept alive by the Yellow Jackets. It's hit toward the back line, and it's down for the point. Habib let it go, thinking it was going out of bounds, and it stayed in. It's an interesting point right there. The nice quick serve by Blazetic, and then whatever that was to... I'm not even sure who hit it over. I think Lauren Gardner got the last piece of it and sent it over, but Blazetic will, will play it on the serve. Habib with the second hit, and it's hit over by Dunbar. Ruetta up to Blazetic, over to McClellan, off the top of the net, down for the Yellow Jacket kill. Yellow Jackets jump out to a four to one lead here in the fifth set. And Blazetic on serve once more. Off the top of the net, it's down for a Yellow Jacket point. That thing looked like it should have dropped on a Yellow Jacket side, and somehow had enough to roll up over and down for the BW point and force Denison into a timeout. That's what we were talking about earlier with those float serves. You never know what to expect, even as the one hitting it. I would have bet that probably 95 out of 100 times that ball is going to be either in the tape or maybe even in the net below it. And that one somehow manages to climb up and barely go over the net for an ace. So the Yellow Jackets jump out to a 5-1 to one lead over Denison in this fifth set. First one to 15, win by two. Dunbar, McCaffrey, Habib, Perry, Kotalik, and Kempf on the floor for Denison. The Yellow Jackets taking a little longer to break huddle, but we know Blazetic will be on there as the setter. Gardner also in the mix with Ruetta, Simonson, Lexi Smith, and Bryn McClellan. Katarina Blazetic stays on serve. It's received and sent nearly out of play, then it'll be hit out into the net by Dunbar for another Yellow Jacket point. The service pressure right now from Blazetic has got Denison all out of sorts on offense. 
It's received by Dunbar. Quick hit by the Yellow Jackets, and it's out of bounds. A couple of net shots right there, but BW got it over just out of bounds. Nobody was in good rhythm, and that was because Kempf set it over on the second hit to distract, or distract what the Yellow Jackets were doing. So Habib will go on serve. It's received by McClellan. Up to Blazetic, over to Lexi Smith. She goes cross court. It's handled by Kempf to Habib. And it's absolutely crushed out of bounds by Isla Dunbar for the Yellow Jacket point. Tipped over by the Big Red, punched up into the air by Lexi Smith, and Smith gets called for a lift. That'll give the point over to the Big Red. Perry will check out. Metz comes in to go on serve, and Kaylee Johns is back up front for Dennison. It's received by Schlecht. Over to Gardner, now to Ruetta, into a block, backed up by Blazetic. Gardner to Ruetta once more, into another block, and this time it's down, out of bounds, off of the Yellow Jackets for a Denison big red point. That stays on for another serve, into the net, point for the Yellow Jackets. Teams will now switch sides. With the Yellow Jackets leading it eight to four in this fifth set. And it looks like Lauren Gardner will be going on serve for the Yellow Jackets. be hit into the net on a second hit and not returned over for the Yellow Jacket point. And Dennison calls their second and final timeout of this fifth set. And while we have this opportunity, one more time, I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match is being brought to you by University Hospitals, Jasinski Sports Medicine Institute, proud official health care provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products and Global Recycling Company. Today's match is also brought to you by City Barbecue, celebrating 25 years of competition quality barbecue, the Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893. Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, a great place before or after any Yellow Jacket event. And Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. You're enjoying today's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball match on BWYellowJackets.com. Gardner on serve, received by Kotalik up to Kemp, and absolutely crushed for the kill by Kaylee Johns. And that is as good a time as any for one of your top hitters to step in and make a great play. That was a pretty good serve by Gardner, too. Just a better pass by Dennison, kept him in system. Dunbar a little bit long on the serve. Put the Yellow Jackets back on serve with a five point lead, 10 5. Ashley Curtis subs in to go on serve. It's played by Metz to Kempf, tipped over by Johns. Curtis on the dig. Up to Blazetic, over to Ruetta. Down for the Yellow Jacket kill.
Curtis stays on serve, punches it over off the top of the net. Habib on a dive, kept it alive, but then it was scooped underneath the net by Alice Kemp. Not much yellow jack, or rather the big red could do on that. It was a short serve by Curtis. She caught everybody off guard. Absolutely, and she got lucky too. The ball hit the top of the tape just barely as it was going over and threw it off just enough to throw off the reception even more for Dennison. Hamilton on the outside hit. And it's played up by the Yellow Jackets and back over by the Yellow Jackets. Hamilton on another outside hit. Gets the point for the Big Red. That cuts into the Yellow Jacket lead, but BW still in front, 12-6 here in the fifth set. And it'll be Kaylee Johns going on serve. It's received by Gardner. Up to Blazetic, over to Rouette on the outside. Dug out by Johns, tight to the net, tipped over by Kemp. Played up by Schlecht, over to Rouetta. She goes near sideline, kept alive on a dive by Dunbar. Hamilton will play it over on a free. Curtis to Blazetic, to Rouetta a third time. And Johns hits it, out of, or rather it's hit out of bounds off of the Johns dig, and it's another point for the Yellow Jackets. Bryn McClellan comes in to replace Gabby Schlecht. Sam Ruetta goes on serve for the Yellow Jackets. Great decision making there by Blazetic as well. She goes to Ruetta three times in a row, and I, myself included, and I'm sure everybody in the gym thought she was going to go to Lynn on that third one, threw it back out to Ruetta, and she was able to put it away. Sam Ruetta serves it into the net for a Denison point. The Big Red goes on serve, and Alice Kemp will be the one doing the honors. Kemp goes far side, it's dug out by Curtis, tipped over by Lynn, and a collision by the Big Red as Perry and Kemp collide. And fortunately, both are able to get up under their own power. Now the Yellow Jackets on match point with Josie Lynn serving it up. Floating right-hander into the bottom of the net, and that's another Big Red point. It'll be Kotalik who will try to keep this match alive for the Big Red. Tough rotation to try and come back in here for Denison. They have Johns and Hamilton both on the bench right now. And that serve is out of bounds. The Yellow Jackets get the five set victory over the Big Red as they close it out 15 8 here in the fifth set. BW wins it 3 to 2. They took the first set 25-17, then lost 25-21 and 25-22 with the second and thirds, respectively. Then came back 25-19 in the fourth, and then won the fifth and final set 15-8. BW improves to 13-10 overall this year. They are now 6-1 on the home floor. They're 2-3 in conference play which makes them 11 and seven in non-conference play. The Big Red fall to uh, nine and 10 overall. They are now two and six away from home this season. Baldwin Wallace with a busy week ahead as they get Mount Union in the next Friday night. They play a rare Friday night game, single game against the Marietta Pioneers and Michael it's always good to get a victory, non-conference or in-conference. BW gets both today as they beat Wilmington in four, then they beat Denison in five. Absolutely. Great confidence booster for both of those as you're coming up on arguably the biggest week of conference season. You got Mountain Union up first. Uh, I believe they're three and one right now in conference play. And then you got Marietta who, as of this past week, number 11 team in the nation yet to lose a game. So a couple of really big matchups coming up here for the Jackets. Good to get these two wins here this weekend to kind of boost the confidence going into those games. Yeah, those are called opportunities to really take a step forward in the program. This has been a program trying to build itself up to be towards the top of the conference uh, as they once were uh, just a few years ago. And now it's their opportunity going up against the likes of Mount Union and Marietta to prove where the Yellow Jackets have gone so far this season. Once again, the Yellow Jackets 
get both ends of the doubleheader, first against Wilmington in four, then against Denison in five to improve to 13 and 10 overall. They're now two and three in Ohio Athletic Conference play, six and one at home this season. For everyone here at Baldwin Walls and for my partner in the booth, Michael Beard, the star of the men's volleyball team, I'm Matt Florjancic saying have a great rest of your Saturday, everybody. And as always, remember, go Jackets.